solving problem as much as possible. So first off here, we can factor out an x squared. We end up with x plus 3. And on the left here, what we can do is factor out the negative 1, and we end up with the x plus 3. Because if you redistribute the negative 1, you get negative x minus 3, or minus x minus 3. All right, so they both share an x plus 3 term, so we can factor that out. And then we have the x plus squared plus, oops, minus 1 difference of perfect squares so we can actually still factor this further so x plus 3 and then we have x minus 1 and x plus 1 and that's it all right i hope this helped you out thanks for watching have a great day